Wanted it faces now, and the first three are all described by police as dangerous, so should not be approached. Just dial 999 if you know where they are. Number one is this man, Shane O'Brien, although he's also known as Troy. Police want to question him in connection with the murder of a man at a bar in Eastcote in West London last month. O'Brien is 27 and has links to Kent, Reading and Ladbroke Grove in London. He also has a mark on the centre of his face and a tattoo of the name Shannon on his back. Next is 19-year-old Abdul Qadar Hassan, or Qadar as he sometimes calls himself. He was arrested by detectives in Greater Manchester investigating the murder of a man in Urmston in May. He was released on bail but has failed to return for further questioning. Hassan has connections to Manchester, Leicester and Pakistan. Greater Manchester Police are also looking for our third face, James Doherty, although you may know him as Michael Farrell or John Mallam. They want to talk to him about a robbery at a restaurant in Manchester in which staff were threatened with being attacked. Doherty is 25, has a mole on his left cheek and contacts across the region. Finally for now is this man, Abdul Munib Malik. Detectives want to question him after more than 30 kilos of heroin was seized from a flat in Bedfordshire. Malik has connections to Bedford, the West Midlands and also to Rotterdam. If you know where any of tonight's faces might be, please do get in touch using the numbers on screen. We'll go through the rest of the lineup a little later, but now it's time for this month's CCTV roundup, starting with a frightening incident in Scunthorpe. The early hours of a Sunday morning in Scunthorpe Town Centre, and this young woman is making her way home. As she passes a bus stop, she catches the attention of a man, and he starts to follow her. Worried, she quickens her walk, but he stays close behind. Desperate to shake him off, she sits on a wall, waiting for him to pass. As she carries on, she thinks he's still nearby, so hides in a garden. But he spots her and follows her. The woman says he then sexually assaults her. Eventually, she manages to flee into the road and flags down a car, whilst the man coolly walks away. Who is this stalking man? Call if you know. This shopkeeper's working one Thursday evening in September, totally unaware of what's about to happen. Suddenly, three men burst into the shop. One points what looks like a gun to his head and demands money, whilst another waves what police believe is a machete. The terrified shopkeeper is marched at gunpoint to the till. But this robber seems to have forgotten to cover his face. Whoops. Look closely, too, at what appears to be a tattoo on his hand. Another worker is forced to hand over cash and it's clearly thirsty work for the robbers who help themselves to bottles of vodka. Startled when a customer comes into the shop, the gang make off into a waiting car. Who are they? You know what to do. Now, watch carefully as this man walks up to a foreign currency counter at a travel agent's in North London. He starts chatting to the cashier, but it's not a holiday he's after. It's the cash from the till. He slips a note under the window demanding money and claiming to have a gun. He's come prepared too, with a large bag for the cash. The terrified worker puts the money into the bag and hands it to the robber, who then casually leaves the shop with a substantial amount of cash. CCTV picks him up outside as he makes his getaway. He took enough money for a dream holiday, but with your help, he'll be off to prison instead. Name, please. This vulnerable woman is withdrawing cash from a bank in Grimsby on a Tuesday in June this year. Later, she realizes her bank card is missing. Two women are caught on CCTV in the same bank less than an hour later. They go to the cashier and one uses what police believe is the woman's card to withdraw £1,000 from her bank account. The pair can be seen later that same day shopping in Hull, again with the missing card. 
they spend almost £180 in this shop before carrying their bags to another store. Here, more than £250 is spent on clothes. But still not content with their loot, here they are pushing a trolley out of a supermarket, having just used the card again. In total, almost £3,000 was taken from the woman's bank account. Who are these shameful shopaholics? More faces first, starting with Adam Peter Day. Detectives in West Yorkshire and Norfolk want to talk to him about numerous offences relating to indecent images of children. Day was questioned about the allegations and released on police bail, but has since gone missing. He's 40 years old and described as quiet, often sleeping in tents and busking for money. Day has links to Brighton, Norfolk, Worcester, Leeds and London. Number six tonight is this man, Terence Andrew Earle. Detectives in South Wales want to talk to him after more than 180 kilos of cannabis with a street value of £1 million was intercepted by officers. Earl is 41 and you may see him in the Manchester, South Wales or St Helens area of, M of Merseyside. Next is 36-year-old Tommy Doyle, although he calls himself many other names. Officers in North Yorkshire want to question him after a man was assaulted in his own home, suffering two fractured arms and a broken eye socket. A number of possessions were also stolen. Doyle has connections across the UK and to Ireland. Finally, we have Bernard Wanjiru. He's 20 but sometimes claims to be 21. He was jailed for supplying Class A drugs and later released on licence, but he's failed to stick to the conditions of his release and is now wanted back in prison. He has a tattoo on his right hand saying R.I.P. Karidi. Originally from Kenya, he has links across Essex and Kent. If you know where any of the faces are, then get in touch using the numbers on screen. You can take another look on the Crime Watch website and they're all on the red button until midnight. Time now to update you on previous cases. And you may remember in April this year, we showed you this CCTV of a robbery at a bookmaker's in Barking Road in East London. The terrified cashier was forced to hand over the contents of the till, including all the loose change. Well, you called in your numbers and named the suspect. And as a result, this man, 31-year-old Daniel Dimofte, was arrested. On Wednesday last week, he was convicted of the robbery and sentenced to four years in prison. Last month, we showed you CCTV after this disabled pensioner was robbed as he made his way home through Doncaster Town Centre. Well, as a direct result of information given by you, a 34-year-old man's been arrested and charged in connection with the attack and remanded in custody. And also last month, you may remember, we asked for your help after a guard was attacked on a train in Clapham. A number of you called in and subsequently a 24-year-old was charged with actual bodily harm. He appeared in court last week where he pleaded guilty and will be sentenced at a later date. Thank you all very much indeed for those crucial calls.